Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and 39 points is the magic number. That is what the Springboks will need to do if they are to win the rugby championship. If they are to score anything less than 39 or win by anything um, less than 39 points against Argentina later uh, with a bonus point, they will uh, concede the rugby championship um, to New Zealand. And, you know, we sat there waiting for you to try and do us a favor, but very much was not the case. Uh, 40 points to 14 was the final score at Eden Park, New Zealand, absolutely dominating Australia and uh, throwing down the gauntlet to, to South Africa. But the big thing is about South Africa is that they now know ne what they need to do, and that is to score 39 points. The reason that there's not 40 points, for example, they have to... So in terms of points difference, the way the rugby championship works, if your points difference is level, it goes back to who won the most matches against each other, which is currently tied, and it then goes into points difference between those two teams' games, which South Africa have a, a higher... Uh, points difference with, um, from a head-to-head -head perspective. So as a result, 39 points is the magic number. That's what the Springboks need to score. Um, but in terms of this match, you know, we I don't think South Africans were asking Australia to win. We weren't even asking them to 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 not lose by a lot. We were just asking them to not lose by more than three tries. And you can't rely on them for anything, can you? Because the All Blacks came out and absolutely decimated them to the point where it was 32 points to nil at a stage um, and looking incredibly ominous uh, for, for the box. But um, it was a good performance from New Zealand, and let's not take anything away from them, but it was pretty abject from Australia, if we're being brutally honest. About 12, 13 handling errors at moments in the game where you just you couldn't understand the schoolboy mistakes that were being made. Um, but Australia started pretty well, actually. You know, they initially managed to keep stay in the game despite the yellow card um, early on to, to Jed Holloway. They still managed to get away with not conceding any points. In fact, the first points of the game actually came in the 20th minute. Uh, Zuchi Mwanga added a penalty. They then saw a try from Will, um, Will Jordan, um, who just found the outside of Jordan Bataille and put the hammer down and got through. Richie Mwanga adding the, the conversion. But then, you know, you look at, at at the moment when Tom Wright decided to take a quick tap at about the 26th or 25th or 26th minute, probably even a little bit early that. Um, penalty for Australia, 10-meter line inside the um, New Zealand half. They could have kicked into the 22, got themselves a lineup, maybe scored a try, maybe bring the game within a three point or five points. Instead, quick taps, then kicks the ball away. New Zealand counter-attack, get themselves into Australian territory. Australia can see a, ter a penalty. New Zealand kicks to the corner. They can see the penalty try to Australia, and they get a player sent off. So from what could have been a potential try scoring opportunity, they can see seven and get a yellow card. A few minutes later, they're once again, they're on the try line. They're looking good. They run the hands. Corey Beatty grabs the ball, dots down. There's nobody in front of him. Easy as you like. He was standing in touch. And you sat there going, how can you make these sort of mistakes? How can you be in this position? How are you an international rugby team and make these sort of mistakes? We then, I mean, we saw knock-ons throughout the game where players had the ball in, in hand and then just lost it forward. It was one of the worst performances I've seen from an international side for most of that game. Um, Sam Whitelock got a try in the 43rd mo mo a minute. Uh, New Zealand very aware of the fact that they need to score as many points as possible, took a few three-pointers. Um, but the first time Australia actually scored points, was against the run of play with a couple of fortuitous bounces as Falafa Inga went over in the 59th minute. But by then it was 32 points to 7. They would have had to score another try to try and prevent the bonus point. But literally within 6 minutes later, 5 minutes later, uh, Samasone Takawahu went over um, the, 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 the white line for his trial off the back of a rolling more. The New Zealand pack just absolutely dominated Australia throughout the match. It was very much one-way traffic. Uh, look, Australia did score a late try because it was looking ominous at about enough sort of 44, I mean, 54, 55 points. Um, but thanks to that late try, you know, it would have been, I think, uh, 53 points, I think is what it, what it officially would have been um, had they not scored that try. But now with the try, all of a sudden, 39 points is the golden number. If the Springboks beat Argentina by with a bonus point and 39 points margin of victory, they will win the rugby championship. It's very unlikely but they know what they need to do. Now the question is, can they go out and do it? Um, in terms of impressive performance, I thought Pete Sami tried very hard in the first half for Australia. I thought Rob Bellatini tried hard. Um, I thought Angus Bell looked very good when he came on. Uh, I think he's going to put a lot of pressure on, on James Slipper. Andrew Kellaway was also probably one of the better players for Australia. Uh, for New Zealand, I thought Jordy Barrett went really well at inside centre. Actually, he got over the gain line. He didn't miss a tackle. Uh, made a lot of metres and beat a lot of defenders. Will Jordan looked very good. Um, Dalton Papa uh, Lee got around a lot, made a lot of tackles. Um, Ali Sevilla was was pretty solid, but I think Brody Vitale is probably his best game since coming back. Um, probably probably one of his best games of the year. Actually, seven carries, eight eight tackles made, none um, missed. Turnover one as well. He looked like the Brody Vitale of old. Um, but for Australia, completely outclassed 
Let me know if you think the Springboks can win the game down in the points below in the comments below. Rather, please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.